Hey guys, what's going on? Dream River 23 here, and today we're going to be installing the Dart Marlin screen on my 2021 Moto Guzzi V7 850. Alright, so inside the box we do have packaging. We do have our Marlin screen. This is the Petrol Blue Marlin screen. They have the options of clear, petrol blue, or black. I decided to go with the petrol blue because I did figure it would go through and fit the box, or fit my bike a bit more. And we do have the mounting gear specific for the bike. This is for the Moto Guzzi V7 Mark 1, 2, and 3, and also for the E5 or the V7 850. So we have our two brackets, screws, and instructions. All right, first instructions say to install the grommets. And it says it's best to go through and install them from the back. All right, we are going to remove the bolt from the right hand side of the headlight. All right, that's got a good fit to it. Actually, I'm gonna keep that a little loose. We're gonna repeat that here for the other side. Once those are on, we're going to use our screws right here. It does mention that you do need to put a little bit of tension There we go. Onto the frame to get the bolts in. <clears throat> now I don't have these super tightened down, just hand tight. All right, I'm gonna go back through and just tighten them up a little bit. And then we're going to finish off by setting our headlamp screw bolt and tighten that on in. All right, so with that installed, the uh, installation is complete. We got the set finished. And I can give you an uh, overall around view look at what it looks like. Alright, so with it on, I think that petrol blue looks really sharp. So this is my height, the view. It doesn't come out too, too far over. Front profile. Side profile. rear profile As I was saying, whenever going about 45, 50, the air comes out right at the base of the visor on my helmet. Uh, so you can feel it a little bit under your chin, but it's, it's, it's right there. Really got.
it's right there at the base of the uh, at the bottom of the visor so I put it right about at your nose if you didn't have a helmet on so it definitely takes a lot of air off your chest guys so what are my overall thoughts for the dart marlin screen um, it does a really good job it does take the air pressure off of your chest which I do appreciate it does look nice on the bike I was kind of worried about that with how big it was gonna be whenever I ordered it um, all in all though it is a very good quality it's easy to install uh, it took probably about 10 minutes to go through and install it which wasn't very long um, and it does go through and take the air, like I said, off your chest. It does move that air for the Marlin, which is the tallest screen that Dart has. It does move it to where it's right about, I was trying to show it in the video and I don't know, I'll probably have to do a uh, voiceover uh, for that part, but it does put it right to where it's right at the uh, lip or nose of the rider whenever I'm sitting, I'm 5'9", 5'10", um, on the bike. So it puts it right to where it's right about my, uh, right at my nose. Uh, on my helmet, it's it's right at the bottom of the visors where you can kind of feel that that air going through on there. But it takes it off the chest. Even whenever I was coming back, going through and doing speeds uh, at let's say a little above highway speeds, uh, it still was right there at that spot. It felt nice. I was able to go through and keep that off my chest, and I was kind of going through and trying to fill that air right there. So all in all, really solid product. I think for the uh, Moto Guzzi V7 850, the 2021, they're 129 either 129 or 139. I'll have a link to them down on the site, down below the, in the description. Uh, but it is a nice, solid product. So, hope you guys appreciated the review. Until next time, this is Dream Reaver 23, reminding you to ride happy, and I will see you all later. Bye, guys.